Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Wastro and thank you for joining me. It was a while since I last uploaded, like three months ago. And I'm truly sorry for that. I've been quite busy with life and whatnot. And now we seem to have a... Well, time for it. <laughs> Again, I'm truly sorry for the big break. But as I said, we're back. So, I was thinking what game we should begin play, what new amazing series we shall start and finish. And I have been hooked on Foundation. It's a organic, gridless city building game, uh, in, set in medieval times. And it is mighty fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for this, and uh, it's in early access right now. Maybe it's full release in the summer, I don't know, really. I think so, at least in the summer. But yeah, it's quite... Uh, fin oh, well, <laughs> almost finished. Just have to add some more buildings and whatnot, in my opinion, and maybe some more... Uh, improvements, some balancing issues and whatnot, but yeah, it's really good at this stage. 1.0.7.0207, yeah. So, our settings, this, this, uh, these things should be off, yeah, probably. Um, volume should be fine, you should be able to hear me quite good, hopefully. Otherwise, tell me in the comments. Uh, we're gonna start a new game. Uh, default for balancing, sure. Maps should be Valley. It's the newest edition. I played a teeny bit on it. And it's fun. So yeah, start game. And uh, again, sorry for the big break, but we are back. So, if you are a new watcher, please subscribe. Uh, leave a like, leave some feedback down in the comments, and yeah, tell me what you think of the game. Are you excited or not that excited? <laughs> but anyway, subscribe, help the channel grow out, and I'm really excited to begin this new series. So, let's go. So here we are, at Foundation. It's really, really awesome. And before we begin and build stuff, we need to select a territory. Buy this land, it's currently free, which is our first territory, so yeah, obviously. <laughs> it will cost nothing for our royal taxes, so that's good. Every territory we can choose between has a better bush and some stone because we need that to begin to be able to begin our little village to make him thrive. So we have three here. I mean, this is kind of good. Nice little viewpoint. Uh, then we have a couple here. This one, not that. Nice, but it will do. We have one here, um, a couple over here, but uh, I have this set for this particular map. We're gonna start in the center and walk our way out to build our glorious village. So we're gonna select it. There we are. Now we have a new cast quest. Build a village center. We can pause the game as well. We can speed it up if we wish, but not just yet. We're gonna ha select a village center. And these are some small barrels, boxes with our resources in them. So, uh, we're gonna have them in the center of this territory and I will explain it a little bit later. I'm gonna start them right 
here, I believe. Yeah, right there. And we have our people. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five males and three females. Okay. So the family is gonna be a bit, be a bit inbred, maybe. <laughs> well, no, not really. We're gonna have some immigrants popping up sooner or later in uh, sixty-one days, but I don't think that's accurate. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have new newcomers coming from time to time. We're gonna select a well to get our water need. Don't have any stone just yet. So, yeah. The handle, I want it to be here. Yeah. A well needs. Not the, that's the village, Anta. This is the well. We need 10 woods and 5 stone. We currently have the wood, but not the stone. I'm gonna pull up the resource list and the villager list. So we can assign jobs to them. And we're gonna create a lumber camp so we can get some extra wood. We're gonna need it. And you see these little arrows, that means they're gonna path through that way to make a custom path where they walk. So we're gonna put it right there, maybe. Yeah, right there. Excellent. We're gonna get a gathering hut for the berry bushes so we can get some uh, food. I'm gonna s select it right there. Any stone cutter camp for we have some stone over here in the woods. We're gonna cut them down, clear it out a bit. I'm gonna make it look like it fits in. Maybe right there or something. Yeah, maybe. Right there, I think. Yeah. And then we can pop them up. The stone gatherer, there you are. The stone cutter. And the better bush. Uh, let's see. Sawmill, we can place it later. The warehouse as well. We're gonna put all of them into priority. Except for the well. I mean, I guess we can put it as well. We're gonna make all our villages into a builder. So they can be of use in the early stages of our village. So that they can all build. Because we don't currently have any other profession for them to do at the moment. Uh, 10 wood, 20, 30, we have 40. Mm, yeah, we're gonna wait with the sawmill and the warehouse for now. So yeah, uh, I guess that's that. We're gonna start. They take the boxes of uh, resources, they begin the construction. We have a new quest. We're gonna raise our village status to Kamina. We have eight newcomers. Assign a new builder, which we did. Good, good, good. And I suppose we can speed up time a bit. And uh, we can assign our lumber people, our cutter, <laughs> woodcutters. So, since you are not doing anything, you are not doing anything. And you are... Where's the other one? There he is. 
I'm back walk. Hm. You are not doing anything. Let's see, take away all and paint work. Well, you're gonna be a woodcutter. There we have three people to cut down some wood, and now we need to assign a extraction zone zone for them to cut down the wood. So we're gonna make this area a little less dense with the wood, so we can see where the stone people are doing. One more there, and those. And we're gonna make them work for the stone as well, because we need, for every resource, we need an extraction zone. Except for the farms that will be available a little bit later and whatnot. So, cut that down. Now the, we have the gathering hut, the berry bush. You're gonna be a forager. We only need one forager at this moment. And he got a nice little backpack and a hat. Have a real good fashion sense. <laughs> yeah, he's slapping the trees down. Uh, are they done with that already? I guess not, but they have three, so maybe some are done. Uh, yeah, the desirability layers don't have that, right? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, the reason why I put the well and the village center almost in the middle is because the desirability level uh, layer for residential is when the housing starts to pop up it's gonna be pretty much in the whole center of our territory so if you put it here it's gonna be less and if you put it here it's gonna be more and we're gonna expand through the uh, this little wooded area and no actually only right here first so they can cut it down and focus so we can expand more with the houses when they start to come up and good on you they are soon done with the stone cutter camp oh that's right I need to assign extraction shown for the bedi bushes now he can begin collecting berries. Stone cutter camp is complete, nice. You are a builder. What are you doing? I'm preparing to work. No, you're not preparing to work. Every one of you is going to, uh, except one, is going to be a stone cutter. So three of you. We need five stone for the well to be uh, completed. They're going to cut some stone. Everything's good, nice. And actually, I forgot to build the market. Uh oh. The food stalls. They're gonna sell some berries over here. It's gonna be tasty. I'm thinking right here. There, perfect. And a red tent. Well, start with the construction first. They're gonna require 10 wood, prioritize it. 
We have the ten wood already. I'm gonna take away one wood car, I think, to be the market attendee. How is the wood going? Have a couple of more left to shut down again. Oh, and our well is complete. Now it begins construction on the market stall. Good. Now, let's see, sawmill, we can begin. Yeah, they can be right with the wooder. Um, this way. Like so. Prioritize that and he's finished with the market. Now we can. Yeah, we're gonna take away one stone cutter and assign him. We're gonna sell some berries and start that. And he's gonna be here. No, we can complete the quest as well. 100 gold. Good. We have a new quest unlock a trade route. So, trade routes. The first trade route from Davenport. Gonna need to require to have 20 planks to give them first to be able to trade with them. So we need a sawmill, which we are currently building. Need 20 woods, we have that. Need 10 stones, we have soon that. A message from the kingdom. The kingdom is recognizing your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. Now we get influence, plus four kingdom and plus four people, no labor, okay, good. So now we can unlock some stuff here from the labor and from the kingdom. If we have some splendor, we need Okay, don't need any splendor for the first right? We need two for the laborer, and if you see here, we can edit our market, put on, put on an, a red tent, which will give us two splendor for the labor party. It's gonna cost us 50 gold, 10 wood and 5 cloth, we have it all, so we're gonna start it, and actually I want to decorate it a bit with some barrels mm, this way a food stall sign a bench that's gonna go with the well and a fence good start construction our build is gonna be building that when he has time. So that's good. He's hammering away. And now we actually have residential zones. Good. And our desirability is, as I said, expanding. So, we're gonna let them live, we're gonna have the markets right up in here, so just a little bit after that, we're gonna have the residential zones, like so, maybe not that much up though, but something like here, 
something like that. And then a teeny bit to the shoreline. Some of that. We're gonna take away this wood. Hope so. We are missing 10 stone. We have 10 stone, so we just wait for him to grab it from the stockpile. Oh, and our first housing are coming along. Nice, nice, nice. Prioritized out. So we need to get some commoners and we need to unlock our trade route for the tools. And uh, one free territory. Tools we are going to need sooner or later, which we are be able to buy from them. We're gonna be able to buy bread and fish as well. And they are buying berries, polished stone and planks. So we can sell berries, polished stone and planks to them if we wish. But for a moment, we just need to get some planks up in here and uh, unlock the trade route, which we are able to do right now. So, we are good on wood, uh, a bit behind on stones. So we're gonna take away a woodcutter. And we're gonna select them into the carpentry. Actually, we're gonna take away one more and one stone cutter, because we need some planks fast. We want it for the trade route, 20 planks, and we want to build a warehouse, and that requires 15 more planks, 15. And I'm guessing where shall we build the warehouse? I'm thinking maybe here somewhere, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's put it down right there. A stone mason hut to create polished stone. Yeah, we're gonna create, uh, build that as well. I'm gonna put them um, right there so they blend in with the area. But this one I need more prioritized than the stone mason hut. And uh, to build these houses, we need a builder, but we are currently building the market, the warehouse, and the stone mason hut. We got two new villages. And that means they are going to come in in a bit to us. Ryan Hall is. Oh, they have all the resources now, they just need to build it. And the woodworkers are currently not able to chop down any wood. So we're gonna expand it. Like so. And actually, I'm gonna paint some more residential stuff. There we go. So they finished that. So now we have four splendor. We need two, but we need ten serves as well, and we have eight serves. So when we get our next immigration way, we can hopefully get that and unlock some fishes hut to get some fishes or unlock the Lord Manor or a hedge as a decorative item. But the Lord Manor is not needed at this point in the village. So we're gonna get the fishes hut and maybe the hedge. So yeah. 
Heinrich has sold five berries for 40 gold. That's expensive. Hopefully it's not just single berries. <laughs> And now our immigrants have come. Wilhelmine and Robin. So what we're gonna do with that is our wood is yeah crumbling, so we're gonna assign two more woodcutters. Keep them up to date. We have 31 planks now, so we're gonna unlock the trade route. Awesome. We get one free terrazer as well. And we need 15 planks for that. So actually, we're gonna kick out Jacob and Mary. One carpenter is enough at this stage. I suppose we can assign them as builders. And uh, yeah, prioritize the stonemason. One st more stone cutter. Shh, yeah, we can have that. Set up your first trade route. Oh, yeah, we will do that. We're gonna buy tools until we have a stock of 20. Yeah, 20 is good. 25 maybe? Yeah, 25. So when we finish the warehouse, we are able to get the wood in from the traders. <laughs> Sorry for the buildings of the houses, but they will come in after our first initial expanse of the village. They have the wood extraction zone to cut down. Nice. And there it is. Just tidying it up a bit. So now what we're gonna do... Hmm, actually we need a... No, we don't need a transporter for just buying stuff, so that's good. There we go. Now, the trader will come in and trade some tools with us. And we are buying until, as we said, have 25 in stock. Maybe we can see it right when he comes and delivers, hopefully. We have zero, but that's, be that's because we have zero transporters. But if we did have a transporter, actually we're gonna assign one just to show it. Jacob, can you transport our tools to the warehouse? Pretty please. We have two builders, so the house is, is beginning to prop up. Now we have 10 tools, that's good. So when this is 25, all this, that means we have traded the tools with the trader. The stone mason hut is soon finished, we need 5 cloth. Then we can create polished stone. Polished. Stone, not Polish stone. <laughs> uh, stone Mason's hut is complete. Good. We can deassign Jacob as a transporter and assign him as a Stone Mason hut guy. Yeah. And now we don't actually need two builders. One will suffice. Uh, let's get another stone cutter. So we can keep up with the demand. Uh, immigration in one day, good. My village. 
No, that's not what it's going to be called. Since we are the birthplace of the motherland, we are creating here in foundation. We're gonna call it Vaseria. <laughs> no ground delusions there. <laughs> so, welcome to Vaseria. Mother place of the motherland, the birthplace of the motherland. Now we got soon another two villages joining. Uh, we have 10 serves, yeah. Commerce is gonna be off the, the first church, I think. Which we can build right now, actually. But we need to build the houses first. And then expand a bit on the stone, the woods and whatnot. And take off the carpenter right now. I need me some wood. You can become a stone cutter. To make sure the stone is not depleted because of the polished stone. We can build that up a bit and then quit him as well. Our first house is complete. Cool. So since we do have a first house, we can decorate it a bit with a fence or a bush. Let's do a bush. Awesome. Woodcutter. We just keep on cutting down the wood. Cut down the area around the marketplace for a bit now. And then just keep on expanding outwards. Our first quest, eating out, could be taken out of context, but who knows? My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. We want to deliver bread to the kingdom, to the clergy, or to the people. Well, sad to say, we don't have the bread, so actually, we can't get the influence. Too bad. So I'm keeping it all. Did we get the extra people? Oh, ten? No. Okay, now they come. I was beginning to wonder. Uh, bring them to the stone cutter. The wood is, yeah, since we are building each house is 10 wood. So, yeah. They're gonna be dwindling our resource in the woods for a bit. We got the forester camp up and running, if we would wish to regrow the forest. I'm thinking that's not necessary at this point. So yes, you're gonna let it be for now. Maybe if we run, run out of wood and can't expand, we're gonna address it. But actually, we have a free territory. Do you wanna expand it right now, perhaps? Our wool and uh, clothing line. The sheep farm should be here. And the tailor and weaver's hut should be closer to town. So this one we will grab when we unlock the sheep farm. And this, because we need to build a bridge over to the iron ore department so we can build the tools when we have access to them as well. And I'm thinking farms around the river around here somewhere. So we're gonna take these three first, this one, then this, then this. They are already done with the wood. Damn, they work fast. I'm not complaining. We need the residential area. Just tidy it up a bit. 
Take away the extortion zones. And actually, we haven't uh, yeah unlocked the fissure salt and the hedge. Wooden keep, wooden wall, or large stone wall. Wooden keep is not that important right now either, but uh, we're gonna save the points. And we're gonna build a fisher hut so we can sell the fishes. Can we destroy that one? Yes, we can. Good. Uh, sorry for your inconvenience, but you were placed too near the coast for my uh, building plans. I'm gonna build here. One of that. Good. I'm gonna prioritize it for 20 wood. So we can get some fishies. We have one builder. You are building on this one. So when he finishes on the current task and gets on a free break or whatnot, then we're gonna continue on the prioritized one. Painting with Bob Ross over here. Expand it a teeny bit more. Now he's working on the fisher's hut. Good. I'm gonna get two more villages soon as well. Nice. And to sell the fishes, we need to have another food stall. Because one stall is one food group. Gonna have the um, here, yeah, and just start construction. Co yeah, prioritize this as well. Expand it all the. Our first house is actually upgrading. Hmm. Okay. Polish stone, we have 20. We can deassign Jacob. And make him a. Yeah. Hmm. The fish's hut is soon complete. Yeah, I'm gonna make him a fisherman. This game is so serene and relaxing, it's just even that funny. <laughs> it's just so beautiful to look at. So, our fisher's hut is complete. Assign Jacob. He's gonna catch some fishes. Uh, we're gonna build the market stall and then sell the fishes. Then I create, uh, decorate with some bushes. Boom, boom. Yes, bushes everywhere. Now we have the two more, Henry and Edith. So, uh, what should we gonna do with them? One's gonna be a market stall, tendy. Guess either a forager or a builder. Uh, they're gonna be a builder. And Henry is gonna be a market staller. In uh, due time. There we go. It's gonna sell fish. Henri and Heinrich. <laughs> yeah. Brothers, cousins. 
distant relatives, who knows? That's just one of the mysterious things in Foundation that we don't know yet. But we're gonna find out. So yeah, they are building like crazy. I'm gonna decorate some bushes. All over. It's not even funny. <laughs> and one with the fisher. And actually we can have one right here. Pretty bushes. In the gathering hut maybe as well. No, it's just in the way. Uh, so yeah, extractions is doing fine. Residential is doing fine. Everything's fine. Our wood though is... Well, that's because we are building many houses. It hasn't really a chance to keep up with the demand, but they're gonna be uh, keeping up sooner or later. Cut down the wood, please. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll start this. Everything's fine and dandy, folks. Uh, the time limit on the episodes, I'm thinking 30 40 minutes, but I would like to know your preference in the time limit of the episodes. So, comment below 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Longer, shorter, give me an answer, some feedback in the comments. So, I'm gonna stay here. And uh, this is what we have done in this episode. Aren't we productive? 40, 42, 43 minutes we have been recording. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are expanding and growing and we are loving the game. Tell me, are you loving it? Are you addicted? Are you playing it? Yeah, holler at me down in the comments. <laughs> So, hope you are having a wonderful day, subscribe for more content like this, I'm gonna, uh, for my old subscribers, I'm gonna continue with the EU4 Bhutanese series. Tell me also, do you missed it, do you like it to watch it, I'm gonna upload it as well. I have a bunch on recorded and ready to just pump out to YouTube, so yeah. Gonna be excited for that as well. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me by giving a like, comment, share, and subscribe along with clicking the notification bell to get all the latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate it. I am Wayzero, and I'll see you next time.